Hello and welcome to the Acrona Support Quick Tips. My name is Dan Scanlon and today I'm going to show you how to set up email archiving in the Acrona CyberProtect cloud. First, I want to touch on checking out your tenant to make sure that your email archiving box is checked here as well as your archiving storage is checked as well. It should be by default, but if not, you can go back and make sure that is. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Managing Service Console. Go over to our devices on the left here to bring that in and go up to Add. We normally would add for a operating system, what have you. And then go down to Email Archiving. I'm going to pause for a moment to get the credentials. Okay, I've typed in the credentials and then I'm going to hit next and put in the password. Now you'll be set with some permissions here, permissions requested, and just go ahead and accept those. Microsoft. And then you'll have your connection to 365. Now we'll create the archiving plan itself. We'll go ahead and cancel that one. Create a new plan. Now you have an options, a couple of options, but the one we want to pick here is all mailboxes. Hit done. Also choose your encryption password. Now make sure you keep a hold of this and don't lose it because we don't have any way to, to restore that for you. We don't cache it or store it on our side. So it's very secure, but it also requires that uh, to be done. So go ahead and hit uh, cancel. We already created that before. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to hit uh, recovery to show you how to restore these. You want to put in that uh, encryption password for safety and this will show you all of your emails inbox outbox uh, everything that existed before uh, deleted emails all that good stuff now you've got all the saved searches right here and what you can do is you can actually do a search we'll call this text you want to look for the word text in a any of the emails on here you can search for it and then if you want to you can also save it as a uh, search query so that way you can have it uh, the search name, from to, the time date, the size of the file. Uh, and that way, going forward, you can use those over and over on the side here with your save search query. So now we can do a search with all emails by doing the search here and putting in text global, for example, and hitting search. Maybe I'll see them now. You can send it as an email uh, to the original organization or a, a new organization if they're merging, for instance, something like that. Uh, you can also select the sender where you want that to be sent from. The recipient you want it to go to, maybe a little message, hey, here's the email you wanted to restore for your purposes and send it off. Now, in addition to that, you can also recover the email and you can recover it to the organization or a different organization uh, if you have more than one location. Uh, and then you can also put in the original location in the email box or you can put it back to a new location, maybe somewhere like a folder that was created to receive those types of restorations. You can also browse the email boxes and choose multiple email emails to restore at the same time. Also with attachments as well, you can send as an email recovered like uh, just showed you a moment ago. If there's an attachment, there'll be an attachment uh, restoration tab for that as well. Now I'm going to show you where you set up retention time and legal holds. You can go ahead and take your apply your retention rule retention rules here, and we'll add a new set here. And can we keep emails indefinitely uh, by age? We can say let's do it for five years. Hit save. Uh, you also have the option to encrypt it as well. Uh, put in the password there and save that. Make sure you keep uh, keep that. You can set retention rules from any of your search queries here and apply the retention rules. And it can be keep it uh, indefinitely or for a time period, maybe say five years. Hit save. Uh, the other option is going to be to create a legal hold. Now, the legal hold supersedes everything. So if you put a legal hold on there, that's how long it'll stay there. Uh, it is in charge, basically. Uh, keep them indefinitely once again or for a time frame. Uh, as well as putting on a uh, encryption password for the archives themselves that uh, you have to have that uh, member, member to memorize that very important. Uh, now I want to show you real quickly the ability to do that up under 
management as well. Let's go into archiving plans. You've got your uh, email and archiving plans here. You've got your retention rules. And here's where you can add retention rules to what you want to do. You could do it for this particular archive. And you keep the emails indefinitely, like I said, or by age, five years, for instance. And you can also do the legal hold here, which like I say supersedes everything. Add a legal hold, same idea, select what you want to do here. And you can do that uh, definitely. And then you can also select the particular search query you want to attach it to that you maybe have done purposely for that particular reason. And also I'd like to touch on some other ideas and abilities here. You can go up to where it says devices, go up to the first here. You can download your email archiving license report right here from the very top right corner. You also have the ability to see the activities that are occurring for all your email archiving as well as the other things going on in the console. In addition to that, we also have immutable storage and audit logs. I'll show you that real quick. It's going to be over here under the, and we'll go ahead and click there. Under settings, security, you got two levels. You got governance mode and compliance mode from 14 to 3,650 3, days uh, for that retention of immutable storage. If anything gets deleted, good actor, bad actor, accident, uh, you'll be able to restore those particular files, which is always good. Uh, also, you've got your monitoring with your audit logs. Everything happens in the console will be audited. Then you can check through here to, to search through with filtration as well. Uh, and that is the email archiving uh, pretty much in a nutshell. If you have any questions or want more information or want us to help you get it uh, get it set up and squared away for you, we'd love to help you out. We want to make you successful and uh, it helps us as well as it helps you. So thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful rest of the day and we will talk to you soon.